Runa Dark Elixir, Runa Gold, Runa Elixir, Book of Fighting, and a Book of Spells for $19.99. So check this out guys, we are back with a brand new episode on the channel, it is a beautiful day here in London and I think today guys, we aren't going to be doing a double upload, I believe we are going to be doing a triple upload here on the YouTube channel today, so make sure you are subscribing, turn on those post notifications guys, and by the way, we are going to hit 2,500,000 subscribers when Town Hall 13 comes out, and when we do, we will do the... Not the biggest giveaway, maybe, but the best giveaway we've ever done here on the channel. So let me know some prize ideas down below in time for Christmas, guys. But check this out. We are shortly going to be purchasing the Cyber Special. You guys all voted that I buy this on this account. Runa Dark Elixir, Runa Gold, Runa Elixir, Book of Fighting, and a Book of Spells for $20. We're going to buy that in a few seconds, guys. But before we do that, it is time, my friends, to do some more upgrades because we have just finished... A two-hour farming session, and we've got maxed out loot, guys. Now, for anyone that's new to the channel, quick breakdown of what we need to do. We need to max out 270, I think. Yeah, 270 level 12 walls, guys. We've just maxed out every single giant big bomb. We need to upgrade some spring traps, some mini bombs, the skeleton traps and then air mines and air bombs, and then that is all of them done. The king needs to go up five levels. He is the final hero. And then all we need to do is upgrade four cannons, one level, and then the archer towers. And then finally, we need to do a couple of dark elixir troop and spell upgrades, guys. Once that is all done, we will be 100% maxed out, guys. Now, if we go into the events tab, Winter Jam is going to be here for 11 days, 22 hours, and I've actually worked this out. We are officially 100% going to have two accounts going to Town Hall 13, guys, because I've worked out we need just 600 million Golden Elixir to max out the rest of this base. Now, I know that sounds like a lot, guys, but if we go into our rewards, we are going to be getting 50 million from here, and then we are going to be buying all the special offers. So minus the rewards from the actual gold pass and the cyber special special offers, all we need is like 500 million loot. And we can do that in 12 days, guys. So it's official. We're going to have two accounts going to Town Hall 13. But what I want to do now, I am going to go straight over to the cannon. Remember, each one of these upgrades, guys, is only half price now. So we're going to upgrade another cannon. That means we've got just three to go. And then all the cannons are going to be maxed out. But we've only got one builder free. We've got a couple of builders coming back in a few hours, guys. But we're going to keep this builder free because I want to do some more wall upgrades. So check this out. We're going to drop all this gold and all the elixir, actually, on upgrading these walls to the next level, guys. And then we're going to go ahead and buy that cyber special deal, guys. Okay, can we do one more? No! Oh, damn, that was close. Do we have any loot in the treasury? Not quite. Wait, let's check how many walls we just upgraded. Eight! We just done eight more walls, which is awesome. Okay, let's cancel that. And let's go ahead and grab ourselves the Cyber Special. Runa Dark Elixir, Runa Gold, Runa Elixir, Book of Fighting, and a Book of Spells for $19.99. Okay, so there it is, guys. We are going to collect those runes. We are going to add them to our storages, but I don't know which ones we're going to use straight away. Hold on, let's just check. Okay, so I'm going to save the Rune of Gold and the Rune of Elixir because we don't actually need them, and I think we're going to be able to save them for Town Hall 13, so we're not going to spend them, guys, but the Rune of Dark Elixir... We are going to use, but we can't use it yet because we've already got a 100,000 Dark Elixir. So instead, we're going to use the Book of Fighting we just got. What else did we get, guys? A Book of Fighting and a Book of Heroes? Or was it a bit of a Book of Spells? I think it was a Book of Spells. But let's use the Book of Fighting. Let's upgrade the Lava Hound. That is going to give me a level 4 Lava Hound, meaning we only need to upgrade it one more level, guys. But we're not going to do that. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to max out the Earthquake spells right now for 96,000 Dark Elixir 
We're gonna drop the Book of Spells. And now, my friends, we can use the Rune of Dark Elixir. Let's do that, guys. Where is it? There it is. Let's click that Use button. And let's grab ourselves 240,000 Dark Elixir. Okay, now we have to decide. Do I upgrade another troop in the lab? Hold on, where's the lab? There it is, guys. Do I go for another troop upgrade using the Dark Elixir? Or do I upgrade the King and use the Book of Heroes, guys? Okay, so we've got to upgrade... Just two more spells, the Poison spell two levels, and the Haste spell one level. We need to max out the minions for one level, the Valkyries one level, the Golem two levels, and the Lava Hound one level. So everything needs just one level, apart from the Golem guys. So, I'm either going to upgrade the Golem, or we are going to upgrade the King for 184,000 Dark Elixir guys. You know what? I'm going to do the King. Let, let's just get the king out of the way, guys. May as well drop that book of heroes. And there it is. A level 61 barbarian king. But we've only got 56,000 dark elixir. And we do have another book of heroes. Which we're going to be using on the king, obviously. Because we've already maxed out the other two, guys. So what we need to do right now. We need to max out these storages again. But we're not going to get ourselves into some live farming, guys. Instead, we are going to attack... Our mirror live in clan war and we are ranked number seven so let's go for a scout okay number seven's already been destroyed guys but number eight has only been one starred let's take a look at this dude's base okay you know what it looks good but i reckon we can get in here and absolutely destroy it using a pekka bobat attack strategy so what we're gonna do we are gonna go back home and we are going to request ourselves a clan castle, guys, from my main village. And we're going to do this live attack. So I've already got the army trained up. One Pekka, seven witches, ten bowlers, and three ice golems. If you watched yesterday's videos, you will know this is the attack strategy we have been using over the last couple of days, guys. And honestly, it really works. I mean, it really does work. So there it is. Ice golem, Pekka, and a rage. We're ready for our first live attack, guys. Troops, spells, heroes. Let's scout the base. And let's see where we're going to attack from. Okay. What do I want to do against this dude, guys? I think I've already got a plan. Um. Oh, damn. Hold on. Hold on. Let's just check what army we've got. No, no. You know what? We're going to do it. Let's just get straight into this attack, guys. Here goes nothing. There it is. Troops, spells, heroes. Let's rock and roll. Okay. Take your guess. Are we going to one star? Are we going to two star? Or are we going to get the notorious triple star? What I'm going to start off by doing is... I'm going to use the Electro Dragon right over here. And I'm going to use one... Two minions. Hold on. One minion, sorry. To funnel those collectors, guys. As that is going on... I'm going to use the other Electro Dragon on the Dark Elixir Drill... And that's going to funnel the other side, hopefully. Let's see what happens, though. I don't want to speak too soon. That minion got killed. That's actually a good thing. Because the Electro Dragon done some splash damage, guys. This one's going to go down. And as it goes down, we can move in with our Ice Golems. Which are going to go straight in towards the Grand Warden. Here we go. Peck it down towards the Gold Collectors. Which is gonna take out i'm gonna use those bowlers to funnel that barret guys hopefully they can drop it real quick first rage spell is gonna go down and we basically are looking like we're in a bit of trouble the queen needs to take out the balloon that's all here we go guys it's gonna go down okay and now we got all the troops running around the edges where's the grand warden where is the warden he's gone with the rest of the army guys that's cool i'm gonna freeze that giga tesla and I'm going to get the bat spells in now. Right behind the witches. Put the king's ability. Go with the grand warden's ability, guys. And we are going to freeze the first inferno tower as the bat spells swoop in to take it out. We're going to freeze the wizard tower. Oh, damn, we lost the queen. I wasn't paying attention there, guys. We ended up losing the poor queen. Can we clean this up for a triple star still? I don't know. Damn, we would have had that in the bag. That was a guaranteed three-star, guys. 
Now we need to make sure that the Grand Warden's aura can save all these witches and bowlers. There are so many troops still left alive, but that wizard tower could ruin us forever. Let's see what's going to happen, guys. The Grand Warden needs to take out the wizard tower. Can we do it? There it goes, just about. And we're going to drop in these two archers. May as well. We're up to 85%, guys. That queen has done so much damage to my army. We've just about got her down. But it looks like it is the end of the road for my poor troops, guys. I'm not going to lie. I messed that up. I missed the queen's ability. If I popped it, we would have killed that inferno, taken out the expos, and we would have got a perfect triple star. But unfortunately, sometimes it's just not meant to be, guys. Can we grab one more building? That would be awesome. The Larrys are going to do it. Yo, not quite. And there it is, guys. 89% two star. But we still got another star. So I suppose... It isn't too bad, guys. And we got a 100% war win bonus. Now, we are winning this war, so fingers crossed that we are going to get the victory. But now, my friends, we are going to be ending this video here. What I'm going to do is I need to farm up about 50 million loot a day to go to Town Hall 13 on time to max out this base, guys. So I'm going to do probably three or four, uh, three or four hours farming a day just on this account. And that should give me enough money to go to Town Hall 13 and max out this entire base.